Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, and I know that these banners came out about two days ago, but I still want to give my input on them just because hopefully it'll help someone out there who's still kind of deciding whether or not they want to pull for these. There are still, uh, I believe, 10 days left, so hopefully this is going to help someone with their decision making. So we are going to get the Birth by Sleep Falling Price deals. They are all Supernova Falling Price deals, and we're going to get three of them, which is a little bit important later down in the video here. So the latest Supernova Metal deals feature the trio from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. You can either get Supernova HD Terra, Supernova HD Ventus, or Supernova HD Aqua from their respective Falling Price deals. The first thing to note about these medals is that they are first tier 9s ever to be released, and that is going to be plus... 280% max special attack bonus and then plus its own effect compounding on top of it you're looking at a maximum or I'm sorry at the very least a minimum of 420% going on these metals because these metals also add special attack bonus so they add 140 um, and then you're going to add that to the 280 and you're looking at 420 special attack bonus from this one metal just activating itself so that is honestly really crazy 420 percent that's like a tier 13 14 at this point if you uh if it like follows the trend that it's been going on so that's just really really high damage for just one metal clocking in on itself and not to say that you haven't already pre-buffed before that and then that metal's doing even more damage than what you originally expected it to do so that's honestly just a crazy amount of damage uh, so moving on even though it's not a VIP draw you're gonna get 10 VIP coins every single time you pull from one of these banners now one very important thing about this is that it's a falling price banner meaning that this is probably the cheapest way to get VIP coins uh, because every single time you pull the number of jewels that you have to spend on each pull goes down but you still get the 10 VIP coins regardless of which draw you're on so this can be very helpful for people that are at a very big deficit of skills. Uh, you can get attack boost 7 max, defense boost 4 max, attack boost 6 max lux plus. So it's pretty much rewarding you for buying into the banner by giving you additional skills. So while that's not like a fantastic selling point of the banner, it's just something to keep in mind that if you want to unlock those VIP boards, this is probably the cheapest method to do it as of right now. Uh, and then that's not all unlock five traits each on three medals of any combination of supernova HD Terra supernova HD Ventus or supernova HD aqua to receive the medal featuring all three supernova Terra Ven and aqua so this is a very interesting point because what this is saying is that you don't need to have one of each with five traits on each one you can have some sort of combination so you can have Terra, Terra, and Aqua, or you can have Ventus, Ventus, Aqua, or you can even just have Aqua, Aqua, Aqua. As long as there are five traits on each one of those, that qualifies in order to get the Supernova, Terra, Ven, and Aqua. So I think that's a really interesting point, and it kind of plays back into the, how this banner kind of plays around itself. Uh, so the big thing that I want to note is that after reading all this, know that there is no guarantee. So while your chances are like sort of, it's not in a, in a weird like mathematical way, like the chances of you not getting it after a certain number of draws um, gets lower and lower and lower, meaning your chances of getting it come higher and higher and higher. It's kind of a weird stats thing to explain. Uh, someone explained it to me in one of the Facebook pages, but just know that it'd be very strange that you pulled like a hundred times and didn't get it at least once. But at the same time, you can't deny that the potential exists for you to pull 100 times and not get a single one. So keep in mind there's no guarantee. That is a very, very big thing to pay attention to because for me, that's almost that's that's almost a deal breaker at this point for me. Um, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So let's go ahead and talk about the medals themselves. So here's the uh, Terra right here. Here is the Ventus right here, and here is the Aqua. Now, essentially, all three of these are clones of each other, except they will give specific PSM buffs based on their attribute. So, for example, if we look at Aqua, Aqua is going to give uh, magic strength up as well as magic defense down on the enemy. So, they're essentially clones that are set for their specific, uh, for their specific attribute. 
So going through the effects here, one thing to note is like what I was saying earlier, special attack bonus plus 140%. Since these have a maximum of 280%, and when you activate this, it adds onto itself. So that's going to bring it up to 420%, making it super, super crazy. Um, if you wanted to get even crazier, you can have this in PvP on your first slot of the Keyblade. And then have like Supernova Kingdom Hearts the Kyrie or Supernova Elsa. And that's going to proc the super boost attack right at the beginning. And then you're going to be starting with this metal pretty much going in in max buffs. Hitting the enemy if you have Supernova, Kingdom Hearts, and Kyrie, or at the very least, getting that plus 200% from the Elsa, bringing it up to a total of 480%. So just keep that in mind. That is another way of using these metals for pairing them with a Supernova, Kingdom Hearts, and Kyrie, and then using them in PvP. Um. Another thing to note is that there is not a VIP deal for this, meaning that the chances of getting these medals are exactly the same for every single person, regardless of whether or not you are a VIP. Which is kind of nice because for free-to-play players or players that are casual, uh, as long as they get lucky, they can actually keep up with the meta. I'd even argue a new person, if they pull the right assortment of medals right now, could actually keep up with a very you know, long veteran player who has been playing this game since day one um, because these medals are continually just busting themselves. So a new person can hop in and then as long as they are lucky, then the like pay to play person, they could actually outdo them. So this is nice that they bring back like the chance mechanism of gotchas, but at the same time, I don't like it because it makes more sense to reward people who bought VIP. Um, because they're paying for it you know i mean like they're paying for a service and so there should be benefits with that service it's not fair for people that are free to play that choose to not pay uh because they're at a slight disadvantage but again the vip people kind of paid for a service to be done um so it's kind of weird if they didn't get anything back in return so that's just kind of my slice on it it's like a definite bonus for the vip banners um but it does make it a little bit unfair for people who cannot pay. Uh, let's see here. Moving along. So one thing to note about these is that they increase count. Meaning that if you plan on copying this metal with anything, it's also going to increase the count with the copy metal. So for example, if you have HD Vanitas in slot 2 of Fairy Stars, and then you have Supernova HD Aqua in slot 3 of Fairy Stars, then you're going to get an effective plus 2 to the count because the Ventus, or the Vanitas will be copying the Aqua, and that's going to be plus 1 from each one. So it increases count. That's pretty important because nowadays they're throwing like enemies with high count left and right, or even enemies with low count occasionally here and there so in order to uh you know tip the scales to your advantage you need metals that will not affect or increase the enemy's counters um one thing to note that makes these metals kind of metals kind of specials these metals kind of special is that they have gauge use plus two percent so you can see it it's that little orange detail in the description there and if you read this small little fine print here so this additional gauge cost is not affected by skills that change gauge cost. For example, using a metal with a 4 gauge cost without a skill would be 4 plus 2 for a total of 6 gauges required for activation. Using the same metal with the spe special attack gauge 0 skill would be 0 plus 2 for a total of 2 gauges required. Meaning that no matter what skill you attach, you are paying for this to go off. At the very least, you have to pay 2 to for it to go off. Um, if someone could comment on this video, whether or not, let's just say, for example, you go in with exactly four gauges, you activate this, it can't rob you of the two. So I don't know if that means you can still activate these with four gauges, um, and then it'll just strip two additional ones away if you have them. Or if you have four gauges exact, it'll strip the four away and then does nothing for the plus two it's essentially free because you don't have a plus two to give so if someone could comment on the results of that in this video that would be super fantastic uh, one thing to note about the supernova is that it hits all enemies but it also has focusing damage meaning that the damage increases if there's only one enemy left or zero parts left for raid bosses uh, it triggers before a slot six 
making it very very good because at that point you're like pretty buffed so to have just the supernova attack go in and do a lot of damage whether you're doing like fighting an army of heartless or nobodies or whatever's uh or really heavy damage to one enemy because again it has the it's kind of just like um it's kind of like the prime metals for the most part where it's like the damage increases if there's only one enemy left it can hit everything if that's available but if there's only one enemy left it's gonna just hit for a crazy multiplier on that one enemy so again just things to keep in mind here um, draw odds are really solid so let's go ahead and hop into our draw odds here so a few things to note about the draw odds which is why this banner kind of plays into itself and why it helps you kind of get the supernova terra event in aqua so as you can see if you pull and you just get a random seven star the chances of it being one of the three here is about 1.5 percent now that's really really good because if you look at like past banners for example let's just pull up uh supernova hd Xion, the regular banner so in comparison to Xion's 0.55 percent you get a 1.5 percent chance of pulling any of the featured banner medals because regardless of which banner you pull from you can get one of the other characters was my understanding of it so you can pull like eight times into aqua and then get two terras and a ventus you know what i'm saying like you are not limited to aqua to aqua's banner terra to terra's banner or ventus to ventus's banner so that's pretty good because it increases your chance of getting one of these supernova medals because the overall percentage is increased in comparison to if you had to pull from the terra banner to get terra the aqua banner to get aqua and so on and so forth with uh ventus so that's really nice because it gives you more chances and more opportunity to get these medals in for you uh and that's pretty much all i wanted to say in terms of the analysis for now i'm sure other youtubers covered like a lot of other key components that are super essential to understanding whether or not you should pull for this so what's my take on this so it's falling price meaning that you can get a lot of value out of it especially if you're a new player because that's like max gauge or i'm sorry max uh special attack bonus tier sevens that is going to be vip coins to help you get skills um it makes it cheaper every single time to pay into the banner there's like a lot of good things happening with this banner but the big thing that really really deters me is that it is not mercy meaning that while it's unlikely you'll pull 100 times and not get a single one the possibility still exists that you can pull 100 times and not get a single one and even though it's falling price you're still looking at about like 12,000 jewels to do five pulls let alone you know like four uh, 24 000 jewels to do more than that like pretty much you can pull as many times as you want but you have to accept the risk that you might not get the metal that's the big thing and if we go to my metal inventory this is why as of right now i don't have intentions to pull just because it could end like this and this is just it just hurts my eyes to look at it it's not just me being tired right now like look at all these jewels that were pretty much almost semi wasted because i pulled into a non-mercy banner so really just keep that in mind if you are gonna pull you know there's a risk and you are willingly accepting it as uh potentially happening to you so just keep that in mind i don't want anyone to feel like they're getting screwed i really want people to go in with the best information that they got before they start pulling into the banner so with that being said um while it is falling price while you will get vip coins while there's a higher chance than other supernova banners to get a supernova medal now just because it's on mercy that's enough to deter me but i can see how it's not enough to deter others so with that you know you can use those jewels like let's just say you don't get it after five poles and that's like twelve thousand jewels you can use that to buy like four avatar boards or you can use that to get uh more traits on a supernova kingdom hearts league Kyrie. there's a lot of other things that can be done um instead of risking jewels on a non-mercy banner so that's just my take on it for now i'm pretty exhausted right now so i hope the analysis was helpful i hope uh my words came out pretty fluidly to an extent um but as always if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to drop them down in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer them when i have the time but as always everyone until the next video Take it easy.